Sarada awakened Mangekyo Sharingan, and Sasuke became a renegade, along with Boruto, and now they are considered enemies of the Leaf Village. Ida apparently falls in love with the younger Uzumaki. And finally, the next time skip in the manga. Chapter 80 of Boruto was very cool. Let's discuss some points. Enjoy watching. Let's start with Boruto himself. Despite the fact that everyone considers him an enemy, the guy doesn't get upset, which greatly infuriates Mamashiki, since this is exactly the future that he predicted for him. Right now, he lost everything and had to break down and give his body to Otsutsuki. However, this does not happen. Thanks to his willpower and the fact that he is Naruto's son, the guy is adamant. Therefore, Ida begins to like him, but more on that later. In this chapter, he does not show any unique abilities other than his unbending will. And at the end of the chapter, Boruto intends to become stronger and turn this whole problem into just a fight between two brothers. But how can he train if everyone considers him an enemy? And all thanks to the fact that Ida's technique does not work on Sumre and Sarada. Ichiha's daughter doesn't understand what's going on and why everyone is against Boruto. She thought Mitsuki was crazy. However, after meeting with her father, she realized that even he considers the guy an enemy. Thanks to Sumre, Sarada realizes that it's all due to Ida's technique, and everyone now believes that Boruto finished off Naruto. This is very upsetting for the girl, and it's all a lot of stress since she thinks that Hakagi died because of Kawaki, but everyone blames Boruto. She understands that it will be very difficult for him, that the whole village is against him. Even Sasuke, his teacher, is against him. Due to this stress, Sarada asks her father to help Boruto no matter what. And, at the same time, she awakens the Mangekyo Sharingan, which is similar to the sun. Between Boruto's eye, Jogun, and her Mangekyo, an analogy can be drawn between the sun and the moon. And by this, you can understand that she will become Hakagi and will be the sun for the village, and Boruto will be in the shadows, the moon, the one who watches over everyone from the darkness. As for me, it's great. Regarding Sarada awakening the Mangekyo Sharingan due to normal stress, is that normal or not? Yes, it is. As we have already been told that, in order to to awaken these eyes, one must experience the loss of a close friend. Basically, she lost Boruto. And it was this fear that he might be killed now. The fear that Hakagi might have died, and all the friends were against Boruto, against her best friend, caused a huge stress that affected the awakening of the Mangekyo. Thanks to this, Sasuke helped the guy. He rescued him and told him about how he met Kawaki. Their introduction was the story of his introduction with Boruto. But Ichiha's memory fails him, and it seems to him that this was always with Kawaki. But Sasuke is haunted by why Mamashiki is in Boruto, since he should be in Kawaki. However, Ida's technique is strong enough that Achiha even stops paying attention to it and his mind becomes clouded. Because of this, he decided to help the guy for only one reason, for the sake of his daughter. And it does not matter to him whether he is an enemy or not, Sarada's request for him is everything. Therefore, he decided to leave along with the enemy of all villages. And, in fact, he himself becomes an apostate. Since if he leaves with Boruto, he will be declared a traitor who will be involved in Hakagi's death, and he will again become an outcast for everyone. However, he will save the guy, and, in the future, will make him stronger. Well, at this beautiful moment, Ida appeared when Ichiha was about to leave the leaf, along with the traitor, the girl came to apologize. As it turns out, she didn't want any of this, she just wanted to help Kawaki. Boruto wasn't mad at her. And the girl said that she already felt the same. At one fine moment the same thing happened, after which everyone around her began to love her. And then, the authors explained to us how her technique works. As I said in one of the videos, it was her desire to be loved by everyone. And omnipotence worked. And her ability to make everyone fall in love with her is the same thing that just happened to Boruto. The world has been rewritten. And what is happening now is Kawaki's desire. But all this does not bother Boruto. He pathetically says that he will cope with everything, and he is very confident. Ida likes it. And she promises that she will not help find these two until they themselves return to the village. This is where the chapter ends and goes on hiatus for about four months. And, most likely, in August we will see adult characters. Since, apparently, the new chapter will already be a time skip. Also, I would like to note the fact that Code fell under Ida's technique, and he believes that Kawaki is the son of the Hakagi, and Boruto is the one who took away Jigen, Ishiki and Ida herself from him. And he wants to take revenge on him. And now, it turns out that the one who had everything has become the one who has nothing. Naruto started from nothing, with everyone's self-hatred, and reached the title of Hakagi and love from everyone. And Boruto had everything since childhood, and never felt hatred for himself, and now he has embarked on the path that his father was on. But, as for me, everything is worse with Boruto, since all countries want to finish him off, and he is an enemy for every shinobi. Also, the madman code wants to kill him. 
So, the plot in the manga was very interesting, Mamashiki can't take over the body, and eventually he will just become Boruto's power and respect him, but he said that the omnipotence technique that Ida used cannot be reversed. Whether this is true or whether he just wanted to break Boruto with his words is unclear, but I wonder how everything will return to its place or whether the younger Uzumaki will remain an outcast for everyone and will not want to change anything so that Kawaki is considered Naruto's son and Boruto himself already knows that he is his son, it will be interesting to watch all this. Now, let's digress a bit and talk about how Boruto can get stronger. Mamashiki's power will allow him to use many techniques and travel through dimensions, giving him the ability to hide. But will this be enough? Code inherited the white karma and the ten tails. Kawaki can use Ishiki's power, and every shinobi on the planet wants to kill Boruto. In addition, it is not known if Otsutsuki Shibai himself will appear, since we know that his body is somewhere. But who has it? Code or Amato? If Code has him, he will be able to create a divine tree using his body. Maybe Ishiki was going to do this as his plan B. If Amato has the body, then maybe he wants to use it to get the power of the Otsutsuki and save his daughter, because we don't know if Ida's technique worked on him. And all this tells us is that Boruto is in big trouble, which means that at the very least, he needs to acquire the power of the ten tails. I made a video about how Jubi can be created from White Zetsu. You can watch it at the link in the description or in the end screen of the video. In this animation, I assumed that Boruto would go back in time and create a tailed beast for himself. It's possible. In this way, he could become stronger, and after all, we would be told how the ten tails are created. A lot needs to be revealed. Who are the Otsutsuki? How many of them are left? Was Ida's technique used on Earth during Naruto's time? And whose life was then rewritten? What happened to Shibai? Will he return? And what were world did his spirit go to? Will all of this be revealed? Why are the Otsutsuki gathering power? Do they have a natural enemy, or do they seek power for another reason? After the time skip, the enemy should be much more interesting as well as the manga, and Boruto has to become incredibly strong and use not only Jogun, but also something completely new. Also, it is not clear what happened to Himawari, did the technique worked on her or not, and finally, the power of Sarada. What unique ability will her eyes have? Is it possible that her eyes would be able to pick up Ida's technique from other people, so to say, to sanctify the true path? It's not without reason that her mangekyo looks like the sun. It will be interesting to see what kind of Susano she has and what else her new Sharingan hides. Well, Naruto and Hinata are in Ishiki's dimension, in a motionless state, waiting for Boruto to settle all issues with Kawaki, and the two of them will return Hakagi and his wife back. I'm looking forward to both the release of the manga and the new anime episodes. Thank you for your likes and comments, and, of course, for subscribing to the channel. Write what you think about the chapter, what you expect in the future. Good luck to all.